Hello, my fellow mistakes. Hick up here at your service for those who are new. I'm also at your service as well. So, um, this video is a rig rundown of what I use for shows. Um, whether it be open mic nights that I play at, whether I do my own shows. Um, I will usually bring anywhere between one to three guitars at most. So, without further ado... Let's get right into it. And let's get right into it with the guitars. So, first one we have here is Mr. Black. Now, Miss Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, Mr. Black is an AXL Badwater 1216 Jr. Let's see if I can get uh, some good shots of it. Now, I love my uh I love this guitar. It's my main guitar for standard tuning, especially for most of my original songs. Ugh. Some original songs will have a different guitar to it. Um one volume, one tone, P ninety pickup wrap around bridge. Yeah, it's definitely suited for what I need, for what I like. As you can see, I have pretty much played the living well not living daylights but I you know it's my main axe that I use for shows um the only things I've done to this is put new had new tuners put on it because the other ones broke and and I've also had these strap button locks put on it as well because I got sick and tired of the uh strap coming off of this one so put that right in there so the next one we have is Mr. White Mr. White uh, I know these cases are upside down let me uh, kind of do that real quick because I am inside I haven't really done much shows lately because of this uh, Krona crap. But anyways, this next guitar is what is known as a Frankenstrat. Now this is Mr. White. Mr. White has an Ibanez neck on it. Um, it also has had the neck and middle pickup uh, snipped off with the wiring a different bridge on it kill switch for the uh, five-way selector so the only pickup that works is the uh, humbucker one volume one tone and the tone goes to the bridge so yeah this is uh, my E flat guitar so if I'm doing songs in E flat this is what I use for those songs and uh yeah so like i said this is uh this is mr white now what i usually use for cover songs or a few of my original songs say hi to billy he wants to be in it billy billy as usual is coop coop is an axl badwater 1216 which is based off a les paul i haven't really had anything done to this really um except for i have different uh knobs on it so instead of the original knobs i put speed knobs on it i spray painted the pick guard black uh, I'm planning to get a new bridge for it that looks better and I think would work a little bit more better. It's, you know, this guitar stays in tune really well either way. But, and as you can probably tell or see, that these guitars have their very own case. I just haven't really customized uh, Coop's case yet. So, and for the acoustic shows I do is rose 
Rose does not have her own case. I don't really play acoustics that much, but when I do, I use Rose. So, Rose is a uh, guitarist guitar, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I, um, I had a uh, pickup put in it myself. Um, yeah, nothing much to say about this guitar. You know, it was on sale, I really liked it, and I really needed a better acoustic for what I was doing, and that's, and this is cool. So, next, we're going to go on to the amp I'm using. Now, this is a new amp that I'm using this year, because bigger shows require more, uh, more power. I can't remember the brand name of this amp, but it's a, uh, powered amp, battery operated, charge it up. You know, I use, this has a built-in wireless mic, um, let me just shut that real quick, a built-in, I don't know how well you can see it, but a built-in wireless microphone, which I have the microphone in a case, um, I can even plug in an extra mic if needed, individual controls, uh, not much to say about this sample. you know, it's Got a few other features that I'm probably not going to use, but it's still bring good to bring along with me. So next we have my pedals. Now these are the pedals that I use the most, kind of. I have the, a little, um, I have a little tombstone. Let me turn the light on. So you can see better. I have a little two um I think it says tombstone pedal which is um simple, nice, cheap. You know, I don't really need a um an expensive extravagant pedal for that. Uh Boss DS1, that's what I use for my distortion, which is a really good pedal. I like it. I usually have this as a, um, like I said, as my main pedal. This one I use half the time for my solos. You know, put a little extra oomph into it. The knobs are kind of off with this one, but that was given to me by a friend. Now I use this one on a couple different, uh, one or two songs, originals, to say a uh, mini crybaby. A uh, crybaby, a baby crybaby as I call it. Which is, you know, like I said, one or two songs. And this is a more, um, what is it called? A whammy pedal. It's uh, small, compact, you know, can't complain. I use that occasionally, not as much as the um, wah pedal. The pe and I usually have all these plugged in with a big Joe stomp box, um, which is battery operated. You know, I'm I'm an independent musician. Anything that I can carry with me simply is the most best for me. You know, if if and this is what I usually use for a wireless system is a. Uh, Melody, guitar, an amp, receiver, and transmitter, uh, which I bought online. Pretty cheap. Uh, and these are the backup one, uh, backup transmitters. So in case those are dead, I can easily trans uh, switch it out for an actually AA or AAA battery operated one. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much my whole rig rundown. Oh, and the pedal board I'm using, by the way, I kind of made myself, um, it's just an old, um, it's just an old, uh, skateboard that a friend gave me, and I chalked it up with my, you know, my, uh, my name, Hiccup. I based it off the colors on the back, so, which you can see I put, uh, I put little feet on it, 
So yeah. Anyways, that's the rig rundown. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, stay tuned up and keep it rocking.